Welcome to our tutorial. We started on um, a previous tutorial and the previous tutorial was about Linux Mint 18.3 Cinnamon installing on Arch Merged. We're on open box, so the Arch Merged with a D. No XFCE, no i3 nearby. And we have some nice icons, as you can see, something new, Sardi Monocolora Botticelli. And that's this kind of look. That's a bluish kind of look. Well, anyway, kind of blue. And um, we made an, um, a storytelling story. So I show, I've show i shown you how I proceed to make the scripts for Ultimate Linux Mint. Now I have a good understanding again, fresh in the memory, what cin uh, Cinnamon is all about. This storytelling is going to be me showing you how do I proceed making the Arch Merged Cinnamon. So we have Arch Merge and Arch Merged. Arch Merge is the base installation, then you run scripts. So let's make these scripts. That's this tutorial. We'll use GitHub, we'll use other kind of stuff, and that's what we're gonna do. Let's go to the net. Move it to screen two. So we have GitHub, we have AMD, and we have scripts from Arch Merge. That's what we Google and we find stuff. Indeed, Google finds our scripts. It's on Arch Merge Linux. We have AMD XFCE. We can install Boombox already. We can install i3. We can install Budgie. Question is, what's the best thing to start from? I'm not sure really. I have to think about that, but any of these things can be good. So these are filled in already. These have been created, updated four days ago. Um, the question is, which one is best for me to start from? So I need a template. Why do the work all over again if I can make a template? So we go with a git clone. It's much interesting, more interesting for me because I can push it back to the net afterwards. And that's the idea that you have it later. So we have a file manager, control H. We don't need all that. We have here AMD open box. AMD open box is already here. So that's a good thing. Um, let's make the XFC as well, so we can compare. We have three folders later on. So git clone, control shift V, and there it is. We have now AMD open box, AMD XFCE, and we're gonna create control C, control V. We're gonna create later on, well, not, we're not gonna do it like this. It's not useful, but we're gonna make a new one, AMD cinnamon. Okay, how do we proceed? We are logged in, so that's good already. Is Cinnamon already there? It's already there, but it's kind of empty, as you can see. So we're gonna git clone that one as well. And we're gonna open terminal here. No need to make a new one. I've shown that in a previous tutorial. And there is a tutorial on Arch Merged, how to create new uh, GitHubs. So you're good. You have enough tutorials about that. This is AMD Cinnamon. What I'm going to do is I'm going to base myself, hope that's a good decision, on this one. So I'm going to say copy paste everything to Cinnamon. Control V. And it says, is that the same? It is not the same. The size is better so i'm gonna replace i'm gonna replace okay this one has been changed in name i'm gonna take these two and i say compare it and that's what melt is all about uh, people do not know melt i hope after my tutorials you will know melt inside out and appreciate the ease to make it a great script but let's take a look. This one is the one I want to keep. That one is the one that used to be. So indeed, we need the light and the light M GTK greeter, light M GTK greeter settings. We forgot that one, so it's not in the old one. XFCE, we do not need it. That's correct. We need the one from Cinnamon, so that's okay. This one is actually more correct. XFCE goodies is great if you want to have XFCE. 
and this is just an idea to get rid of installations of stuff that you don't want afterwards if you install a package sometimes there are things you do not want to have at all so there you go we have um, now we can save this one this the left one is the one I want to have to keep we tell them to install cinnamon where does this information come from my dear friends just Google Arch Wiki cinnamon and there you go and we'll have to go later on to there as well so all I did is read and say install a package then choose cinnamon or cinnamon software from the menu display manager of choice try etc etc and these things will do not do that we have our own way to install it so we'll, we'll check later if we have things that we need so we have here this code this is the wrong code this is the right code we install lightdm cinnamon we enable the light dim service and we say look it's gonna be graphical we're gonna work not in the command prompt since we're working with um, well we're working with uh, to save here we're working with uh, AMD so Arch merged so it starts in the terminal we need to tell them to go to graphical so that's what I did I just copy pasted over everything just this one is different and we'll check later on which things we can get rid of because there are stuff in here which are distro specific so we need to get rid of the what did we copy from from xfce we copied from here so we do not do need to get rid of some stuff anyway we could already go ahead and uh, push it back to the net so we have this thing on the net which is these three okay uh, what you need to do if you never ever installed git and used git you should run this one open it I guess your name isn't Eric and I don't think that's your email so do change it since I am that guy I can say let's go ahead and do it and run it it was already there so that's why it says reinitializing but for the edu educational purpose uh, I run it then you go for this one the git script and it's gonna say write your commit comments so we have to write something the first commit is about right I guess then I'm gonna pause the video and I'm gonna log in and push it to the net I've just pushed everything to the net and let's reload and see what happens all the files are now available to everybody as you can see there is work to be done not much because I've not uh, I was not inclined to change a lot of information on these things only thing I have to do is tell them hey guy cinnamon don't forget about it so some information here some information there no need to change anything else that's it okay so we could get, do another git push for the readme and I'll do just that I've done it already uh, just checking if everything was okay and I paused the video for it but um, it's pushed to the net that's okay you'll see another push later on so here it is arch merge cinnamon desktop then I want to test out these scripts I need to refresh them I want to test them out but uh, we need to have a virtual box for it so that's gonna be there we need virtual machine virtual box super f7 in my case it's programmed already I made a tutorial about Linux Mint 18.3 so I'm gonna make a new one it's gonna be arch merged cinnamon he knows it's an arch Linux 64 well done my friend and I'm gonna give it about six eight it just depends on my mood of the day little bit less or a little bit more than half of the memory I give it 25 gigs if I can afford it let's have a look how much do we have left free space 187 all right create go inside Arch merged I forgot uh, in the other tutorial from Linux Mint to change some things 
not gonna forget them now so processor that's the one I forgot four instead of one that will speed things up that's something you can do most of the time I check it not sure what it does actually doesn't give us any problem either enable 3d is something I'll do and okay so everything is okay now the only thing I do need is my ISO we're on a separate computer and the testing system here so archmarch.com download download the ISO download the ISO arch merged we have 6.2.1 now I'll check my mirrors if I can bet, get a better faster mirror then you should do it here just edu for educational purpose again so if you want to have a very slow uh, download in Belgium you take this one from Taiwan probably it's far enough maybe something from Japan even further away so it all depends what you want to do let's give, give it a try let's see if this in actually is slower just for fun's sake Japan Advanced Institute of Science and Technology I was just gonna take okay <laughs> it's that it said first uh, one hour but now it's three minutes left but it's it's gonna be slower I think well two minutes is not that slow is it so cancel no I don't want it I have it already so let's uh, load it up choose arch merge 6.2.1 every month we have a release and that's the idea if we don't do any work then it's just an uh, how do you say it again there's a name for it just an update for the kernel and all that snapshot i think the name is that ontario's uses that uh, other districts use just an uh, update for the packages control f i'm gonna control f it and then we have the whole screen for ourselves full screen f full screen english is okay for me brussels is correct and i have a azerty keyboard no choice there erase disk yes please do that oops arch merged cinnamon that's what we're gonna make and we're gonna put in the password and do this and do that it's all up to you to what you choose but when you press next now everything is going to be installed Arch merch is for us for me for many of us our fun uh, ISO why because we can make any desktop on it when you install Arch merch it's gonna be XFCE i3 open box of course you can install more but you'll know, you'll find out that if you install more um, desktops on one system, you will in, in the end not find uh, what application really applies to your desktop. You'll have system settings from three, four, five uh, desktops and you'll wonder, hmm, which one is it now? So if you install Arch Merged, then you decide just one or two or three maybe desktops, but you decide yourself you decide to have plasma or xfce and what did we create until now it's uh, 8 november is it uh, sorry 8 december 2017 we created xfce for arch merged i3 open box and budgie and we're on our way to create cinnamon so that's our our fun that's making these scripts making uh, it work and making it as awesome as possible that's something else that's in the pipeline that's arch merged awesome gonna be released probably before end of this year let's boot existing os don't want to go into live iso again we go inside and now first thing first well there is an alias just check it out see what's in there but what we need is mirror Mirror is going to check if the Arch servers that we have are indeed the fastest around. <coughs> okay. 
that's done. We could do a pseudo Pacman minus SYU, something you probably recognize. Take a look at all the things that are coming in. Notch Linux Keyring. Network Manager is going to be updated. Virtual Box Modules Arch. We might have a reason there to reboot because of it. A new kernel update. That's why we need a monthly. Well, we need would be great to have a monthly update because of the kernels coming in. Not quite happy about the speeds, they're normally around 20 megabyte per second. second. So, oh yeah, I've been marked as a big user, that might be the issue. That's done. What we normally do, the arch merger, mergers, is this one, PKSYUA, and that's gonna update everything, but also the AOR. The A stands for the AOR. That's done, where are we? We don't have anything in our folder, we are on our home directory, and we're gonna git clone straight away the thing we just created. That's something you need to know by heart. Then we are on Arch Merge. Is it Windows, Linux or Mac? It's Linux. What ISO did we use? We used Arch Merged with a D. And we want to install the Cinnamon. If you want to install XFCE, you type XFCE. If you want to install i3, you type i3. It's logical. LS. CD, EMD, LS. All right, so we've got everything from the internet. Let's get our other screen, which is this one actually. So this thing, github.com, Marsh Marsh Linux, AMD, Cinnamon, this thing is now on your machine, on your virtual machine. Let's go ahead and do the first one. That's the only one we've changed. That's the only one that's gonna be correct. So it's gonna install Cinnamon. It's 3.6.6 by the way, that's interesting to know already because we made a tutorial on uh, Linux Mint 18.3, Cinnamon, and I know that the number is the same. We'll check later on. Okay, so LS, we've uh, run this Hunter thing. Can we already do something? Can we already see something? Let's reboot. There was a kernel update anyway, so let's reboot and see um, what happens. The easiest thing to do now is get rid of this ISO. The ISO is in. in in there, so control F, let's do that as well. So just shut everything down, power of the machine, boom. Get rid of this little tick here, this setting. Up, start again, control F, and next time we'll just get the grub. What do we get if we just install LightDM and Cinnamon? We get this. Cinnamon is currently running, blah, blah, yeah, that's cool, that's okay. 
So we do have some apples down here, as I see. Mm -hmm. Okay. So do, how does it look? This is cinnamon without any theming, tweaking, icons, nothing at all. That's what we get. G part is because I installed it on ArchMerged. Some of the things are in there because I want them to be in there. Like for instance, termite is there for you guys. Transparent, nice looking and all. Themed as it should be, but new fetch. The application we use to show the information. Nothing of that, uh, those applications have been installed. Okay, so we have this AMD Cinnamon. So we're now in VirtualBox. We have this thing here. Right mouse click, open in terminal. Nothing opens. It uh, is expecting, I think it's GNOME terminal. We'll check it out. So that's, that's a function that will not work. Um, I'm gonna get to my toolbar already because I hate the look and I want all my tools to be there. And here you have also this click here for the terminal, but there is no open terminal active. So we do need to activate to, to install and a terminal and the one he wants, I do think it's the GNOME terminal. Let's see and find out. Um, getting to the terminal, Ctrl Alt T will not work either, but why not indeed run or make already keyboard shortcuts shortcut custom shortcuts or add one tell them this is going to be termite run termite add one and say unassigned control alt there is already a combination yeah i know that's true okay yeah mm. shall we shall we overwrite it or not let's say no because i have another way to assign it super return is also for me the termite so i have two keyboard shortcuts. One later I'll have to fix. So this is um, my way to go quickly to super return and I have a terminal ls cd md and we're back in business. So we have now our the rest of the things to install. Let's have a look. Install sound display. Make it bigger. I can't. Hmm. View. Mm -hmm. Preferences. Editor, insert tab, window, here size, size is gonna be a lot bigger, so you can see, anything specific, do I need to get rid of something, it might be necessary to get rid of, we have already an icon here for sound, so the question is do we need this one, I don't know, so I'm gonna test it out. Do we need player control? I think we do because of the keyboard shortcuts. Can't keep it in, but volume icon, we have a volume icon there. So, hmm, first test it out. Do we need pavo control? Good question. So these are the things I need to figure out before um, I install it. So if I don't know, I don't install it, it doesn't work, Aha, I do need it. So every desktop has its own yeah, settings and, and, and things that come with it. So I have to figure out whether or not to install elements. And the best thing to do is just not install it. It doesn't work, ah, it needs power control. So save this, run that. <coughs> so. Pulse Audio was already installed. Skipping, skipping, skipping. The firmware, the utils, yeah. Player control was not installed. Okay, that was the first one. Now the Bluetooth. Anything special there? Nope. And just run it. Next one is printers, nothing there as well. Don't need to look, but I'll show you guys anyway. Mm 
Okay. Stand by if you want it. Sharing stuff over the net. You need a login and a password. Otherwise you can't get on the computer. So what's your login and what's your password? And there you go. This one takes like forever installing. I mean then this one. So I'm pausing here. Okay, that's installed. 150. Checking out the network, looking at other computers in your network. Then this one. That's normally not dependent of, aha, not dependent on um, the distro. But this has a line in here that's pointing to XFCE. So we need to fix that. That's actually more a kind of, yeah, related to XFCE. The rest looks okay. General software, you want or you don't want. If you don't want it, just put a hashtag in front of it. Now you don't see it anymore. It's just up to you. So reuse the scripts, put in things you like or you don't like, just put it in here. Here's already something ready for you guys and say, okay, I want to have jibber jabber, like something like that. And that's it. Uh -huh. Gnome tweet tool is something for Gnome. Another notify system, we'll see if there is a notifying system of cinnamon itself. So we have to keep that in mind. The notify system, what's available on cinnamon. All the rest looks okay. We can use this one, I think. Or was it the other one? We'll see. Okay. No issues, I guess, there. We'll see. And we'll update. So the scripts will not be 100% perfect, but it's up to you also to evaluate what's in there and use your own brains and use your own choices and decide, okay, I don't want Firefox, I want Vivaldi, but I want uh, Google Chrome, not Chromium, and so on and so on. It's all up to you to change it and make it your own system. We provide a skeleton, a template, a theme, and these are the files. Make your own GitHub, put it back on there for you for a later installation that you don't have to redo all the work and evaluate again which applications you like and which you don't like, which themes you like, which icons you like. Put it all on the, in these scripts, put it on GitHub again. You can always uh, help people out, say, hey, my GitHub is there. If you want to have a similar kind of setup, you can help people. And that's what we're all, that's why we're doing the, all this, uh, helping people learning to use Linux and uh, Arch Linux in particular. Starting to feel a little bit like an ambassador of Arch. Let's wait for everything to install and pause the video. Okay, that's finished. So we were at number 200. 300 display. We're going to install the Lua from Conkey, Minstick, Temps, Brackets, Sublime Text, Font Manager, Dropbox, Insig, Skype for Linux, Vivaldi, Spotify, Downgrades for Mac Hour, Service Server, and all that. Okay, all good. No need to edit this one. So these are all applications, general applications we like, we want to have. If you want to have a Conkey with Lua, you need to install that and so on and so on. Let's take a look at this one. That's going to be a tougher one. So we are on Cinnamon. Um, okay, it's just not a tough one at all. It has this D menu installed. You know, if you have Arch Merge, we have this... Uh, Super Shift D and this yellow uh, text comes up at the top of your screen. That's the D menu. 
question is, do I want it on cinnamon? Do I need it on cinnamon? Um, let's keep it out for now and decide later if I miss it or not. If I miss it, I can install it. Simple as that. So I'm leaving this one out. So no need to run this one because it's all now gone. Let's check about 500. 500 mugshot is something for XFCE. So we don't need that one. That's also for XFCE. I do not know how it's going to lock the system. So we'll figure it out later. And this is for our Conky. Yeah, we need this if you want to have a Conky, like the Conky Zen on Arch Merch, we need this yet thing. So let's keep that one in. By the way, um, sometimes if you're lucky, but let's go ahead and try if we're lucky. So, uh, where am I? There. What's the list? There. Go inside. Uh huh. Unless we're in here. Um, so I was just going to say sometimes you can just run with some luck. You can run both in the same time, depending where this one is, where that one is. You can just squeeze in another installation, but it's not advisable, of course. But you know, I like to live dangerously. There you go, it's installed. No danger at all. 600, let's take a look at that. Okay, that's gonna be a tough one, let's, let's concentrate. We have 6.2.1, Arch Merge is rolling. Why is it rolling? Because with, uh, we have a lot of packages and these packages are used to make the ISO. But we can reuse it on Arch Merged. Okay, so what do we need on Cinnamon to get things working? Okay. Um, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. We need this one, yep. Yeah. Cinnamon, Cinnamon Eric, no, no. Yes, we need that one. Plank teams is okay if we have plank teams. Root file, yes, sure. The bash RC. Slim lock themes. Do we need slip lock themes? I'm not sure. Gonna keep that one out. Termite themes. Yeah, it's okay. No tint needed. Wallpapers are okay. Tunar. We don't have tunar. But Actually, we do have Tunar. Why? Every desktop environment has its own uh, file manager. Let's keep that one here so we know what's happening to the left here. Um, Gnome has its Nautilus. Budgie is dependent on Gnome, so it's Nautilus. Then you have um, i3 in Arch Merge and we use Tunar. We have Openbox and we use Tunar. We have XFC, of course. We use Tunar, so that's the file manager from XFC. But Nemo is the file manager of Cinnamon, and Cinnamon or Nemo is is also very interesting for me. When I I, uh, I created yesterday these new Sardi icons and surfing icons, I need I need Nemo to do that. I cannot use Tunar, so my workflow is that um, different. That, is, that I need Nemo to do my work. But the other way around, with, uh, when we have Cinnamon and we have Nemo, I sometimes need Tunar. <laughs> Tunar has my custom actions in there. Tunar has also a two programs that are uh, more or less dependent on it. And that's Catfish, uh, which is actually, I think, not dependent, but it's, it comes with XFC uh, uh, desktop. And the other one is, I think, is it dependent, and that's the, the bulk rename utility. I use that also from time to time. So the question is, do we need XFC tune or Git? I'm gonna keep it in because of my necessity. So you could keep it out. And I want to learn. That's the only thing why I do Arch Merge. I want to learn, so I'm gonna keep it out and see what happens, what I'm missing. I can always install it later on. I want to know what am I missing if I do not install it. Okay? Decision made, 600. 
okay save when that's done here we run the 600 because that one is already okay this one is going to install fonts no issues there just fun stuff if it is installed if it is not there it's going to be installed and otherwise it's going to be skipped auto locking uh -huh. okay we need to know how this thing is named because it's not xfc i'm sure of that so how is this thing named is it already there i suppose it's already there so we go to the user share enter xs x sessions it's gonna be called cinnamon i'm gonna be really sure it's this name i need cinnamon dot desktop so all small letters cinnamon so this one should be cinnamon what does this do i don't like to come to the first screen and they ask my password they ask my name login password don't want that so i'm gonna say auto login user and auto login me eh? eric we're gonna put it in here read what's your login that's the choice you make that's gonna be a variable in there is eric and it's gonna make a password and put me uh, inside the group auto login and then it's gonna change auto login user is eric anyone cinnamon that's what these lines are about so i guess we could run this one already i have to press enter to the left here the information about InSync, there is a little bug inside you have to know these things and if you know you don't have issues it's always like that so 800 we could run it if we have the speed ha huh. we definitely need to fix this terminal thing and it's fixed why is it fixed because it was the gnome terminal it was asking so let's make this nice i don't like this terminal at all not yet profile preferences make it bigger for you guys and then we're gonna make it i hope transparent but i don't think it can be made transparent there is a gnome terminal transparency thing in the aor but i guess out of the box we just need to be happy to have a terminal at all so we have a white one we could change it to a uh, black one or something use colors from system theme we can do it like this i don't know is it any better anyway this one is working yep installing in sync great um we were talking about number 800 and what's your login so eric is my name and go ahead and write we can now auto login reboot to check so if you want to know what happened you just go ahead and see to etc type it in light dm lightdm.com what changed all the way down scroll back up auto login eric and auto login cinnamon those were the two lines we used or changed that's that one um, so I guess we still have to do these two huh? we'll figure it out later fix microcode error I'm not on an uh, SSD so I don't need to run it fix mouse cursor breathe version 1 what was this again oh yeah not sure if it's necessary it was necessary in open box and xfce but i want to wait with that and see if that works fine this is with uh, our uh, slim lock theme so we we'll wait for that as well because we're probably not going to need it i think the locking mechanism in here is taking care of something else been taken care lock screen not gonna do it right now everything is installing but we'll have to check what things we should add or delete and so on about these folders these are the AOR elements these can be installed anywhere just an application or just an icon theme or anything like that so that's coming from the AOR or arch user repository 
ditch. This is the, another folder and it's new if you watch a few um, months ago, it was not there. AOR distro specific. So things that we need for XFCE in this case, but we should get rid of it because it's cinnamon, this one. Let's keep it in because we can just copy paste and change names and all that. So we have an, uh, a template to work on. And this is the personal <coughs> folder. This is um, installing personal folders, uh, the bookmarks that go in here. And Firefox fix unreadable texts. Okay, and GIMP settings, if you want ZSH or not. And installing the LTS, the long term support kernel and getting it, getting rid of it again. We do not do this on VirtualBox. This is only for SSD or hard disk. I'm going to pause again here, guys. Um, let's wait for this to stop installing. In the meantime, I'm going to make a quick uh, push to the net so I can compare on my computer. Um, what difference I've made. Um, write your commit comment. Poo. We've changed a lot of uh, scripts. So, I don't know, changing scripts for Cinnamon sounds about right. Okay, we need to have an uh, Ctrl C, LS. You need to run the setup command first time on your computer everywhere you go you need to first time you need to run that and uh, do change it of course you know that it's Eric the word that's in here set up git version 1 so you should change the name of course and then you can start using github and you say then um, scripts changed for cinnamon. And then I'm gonna pause the recording and I'm gonna log in and give my password. There we go, everything is now online. We do have already, I think, a browser. So we could check on. Let's see how it finds it. AMD cinnamon. Nah. Yeah, let's try. AMD cinnamon, arch merch. Let's see what it comes up with. Eric Dubois, downloads, GitHub, Arch Linux, Arch Merge. Well, it's not coming out of there. So let's help him with GitHub. GitHub AMD. There's a GitHub playlist. And what do we see? Let's do it like this. That's something else already. Arch Merge Linux, AMD Cinnamon, make it bigger, dismiss this thing. And here you have now an update for a minute ago, a minute ago, a minute ago. Scripts changed for Cinnamon. So let's keep this one open, we'll need it later maybe, and let's wait again for the rest of the tutorial. We're getting a failure here by, uh, I've, yesterday I've updated the Saturday icons. It says something about failure while downloading SourceForge and so on, 9.3.8. So um, we could have a look what's going on. First I'm going to check the temp file, what's in here, how um, big is this temp file. No, that's not the reason, free space for gigabyte. So we're thinking maybe it's uh, all filled up. That's not the case. It sometimes happens. So a warm inside in here, right mouse click, open in terminal, and then let's do it again. Install, what is it again? Sati icons. That's one of the things you just press in here, sadly, and there you go. One of the nice search functions that Nemo has. 
Let's see what happens. Maybe it's just a, a slow download. HTTP error will try again. There is an, uh, a problem with the SourceForge website, I suppose. That can happen. So let's see what's happening. Sometimes it's actually down. Uh, I don't know uh, why or so, but uh, sometimes it's actually just not available, not there. And I think we have that kind of day. <laughs> so don't worry, be happy. It's just a, a, a problem at SourceForge. So they'll get there and they'll make it run again. So that's the only reason why we, oh, cancel. I want to keep this one and no, not the one, this one. So, okay, fine. Oh, that was a download, I guess. Ta-da. So the website is down, but getting the files was, it seems possible. So if you happen, if you come across these things, analyze, always analyze. Let's run it again. Everything is skipped, except the ones that are created. Uh -huh. We still have to run a lot of stuff, Sardi extra icons. So what is Sardi? I do need to explain that because I see people asking lots of questions and I do not want to get lots of questions. I do want you to point you to websites. And Sardi is all explained here. Start here, overview, Sardi installation, personalizing. You can make icons for Sardi. You can make um, a flexible means that you can make the blue red or the blue orange and so on. You can change with scripts any kind of look. You can make it modular. You can make it modular. So this kind of look. Why this kind of look? Because it's the color of her hair. That's it. Just an idea, a thought. How would it look? What if? Again here, a what if? If you hate the icons, that's no problem. There are 60 million colors to choose from. I chose these colors. You choose other colors. It's just a script. Run it. So you see there are lots of things in here. Lots of things. You can follow tutorials and start using scripts on the Saturday icons. It's intended to be like that. There are other icons out there that say, this is my PNG. And they start with an SVG and you can't change it anymore. Sardi, you can change because it's an SVG. It's like a text file. Open it, edit it. We have a hex and hexadecimal code with a hashtag in front. Change the hex uh, hexadecimal code. You have another icon theme, another look. So that's um, the message. Go ahead and experiment. There is this Sardi Extra and they are now being installed, I think. Sardi Orb Colora Variations Icons Theme. Okay, I have to put in my password here. And so these things um, are in here. So there are lots of possibilities. I just named these things like the name most likely of the color. So we have an hexadecimal color. And I do hope that GPIC is already installed. And GPIC, if you click on a color and say, I want to know what this color is like, press spacebar and it's called cloud burst so I'll name the icon cloud burst or cloud or just burst you know so I use the color of uh, the name of the color in this thing coral is uh, and golden are colors names for colors so do check them out um, study visited I have to update that one since I have now also visited limits mint 18.3 71 distros visited and I have uh, made sure that all these distributions get their uh, icons right. I still need to add Arch Merch, I think. <laughs> okay, on the to-do list. So lots of things on the to-do list. So I have to make priorities. Some themes, go ahead and check out all the rest. So Sardis are now going to be installed. These are the Sardi extra things. Could make it a bit nicer already while we wait. Go inside themes and let's drag it up here. We're gonna need themes. And Adwaita is gone. We have our dark. This one is gone. Uh, 
while we install it's not a good idea to open this up <laughs> he hates that it's still the same <laughs> so if you're installing icons and you want to install it crashes still like it used to be so you just have to wait have to be patient eric and force quit this thing because we'll have to wait ah, two of them that's control center so then something is wrong but because of my action here shouldn't touch this one but i can touch that one i think nope start it again just when i wanted to do it it started again be patient eric let's pause okay this was number 300 that's the longest one and we have a fix for four icons so four uh, applications that are still using hard-coded icons so that's what the hard code fixer does you can check on it on other tutorials let's go ahead and use something anything so we have a lot of surfing things and a lot of sardi icons i've currently i'm currently using this one i think i don't know it was another one i think so we can have uh, different kind of colors sardi flexible takao for instance and then you have this kind of look it's a good test for me to see if all icons are okay since we made a 6.3.8 uh, i think so yep everything is orange so that's working fine let's get to something i like even better why not study flexible new mix everything blue except the new mix folders so you can combine application icons with folders and then you have this mod that's the modularity if you have the flex the faba icons are the flexible faba why not okay i'm gonna decide that's it next one our dark advaita is going to be breeze snow and cinnamon is gonna be okay there it is takes a little bit longer arc dark so this is now my look for the next few moments we go in here and we see everything is blue that's okay too so i'm gonna check my saturday icons in the same time that's what i'm doing now font i should change the font a little bit a bit bigger how what this this thing do here ah it's downloading images it was not a success on an uh, linux mint 18.3 cinnamon but it is a success on arch linux how to explain that so you can make new mints with joint menus uh, can we take a look at it or anything like it installing that it's already installed <laughs> just wanted to take a look guys that it's there already ah sagartani we know you ah that's good seems new minty and what do we get we get this kind of look hmm. why all these green things that would be a reason for it anyway so that's a new minty thing okay fine arc dark so add remove you can add things in here fine that's nice it works here it's strange so the fonts we were talking about the fonts again it's a bit too small the same applies in linux mint 18.3 cinnamon for my taste getting a few years older i do need glasses this makes it a little bit easier for me done better for me better for the video all right what did we not do <laughs> we did not do what did we not do so we went into 300 that's the last one 400 that was this one time thing that's already installed 500 you just run it because it just skips it just says 
it's already installed. That's all it does, so you don't lose any money because time is money. And let's try this one. So we have made some decisions what we want to install, what not to install. And for some of them, let's go up again, for some of them it says something. The files have been installed in there. If you want to have them, you have to get them. Okay? So everything is installed. So I repeat, some of the files from the Arch Merge ISO, I will not install them on your home folder. But I can install them in here, in etc scale. So what I'm going to do is take the scale and put it already here because it's an important one. From time to time, we get updates. Control H, here are the updates. Since this is the first installation, I can just say, you know what, I'm going to take everything. Except maybe this one. Why that one? Because that one is defining the colors. And we've decided these colors, I don't want to change these colors. That's something we might decide to do. And there might be even other things in here. Like this one is going to decide the color as well. So if we want to keep all that, we'll have to be more selective. So, okay, let's copy paste everything and select the icons and all of it, everything again. So this one should go inside mine. So the .config is going away. The local is going away. We can't trash it or we can, we can, okay, just the message. And we're going to copy paste everything and up replace everything and see what this brings us. So we have a new configuration. How to start Calamares by it won't work anyway. Plank is going to be started. That one, let's not try that one. And Clipman is XFCE thing, let's not use it either. So we have now catfish settings, conky settings, decom settings. I'm uh, not sure if that will have problems with cinnamon. We'll have to see. Font config, G calculator, genie, G pick. 2, 3, H stop, new fetch, nitrogen, nitrogen, poa. It's an application, you can set your wallpapers in it, uh, sure. Um, you can set it to via cinnamon as well. Plank, termites, tin 2, not needed tin 2. Variety, okay, volume icon, we have decided not to install it. Compton Conf will not work anyway. My apps list, mm, I can keep that one maybe. Let's see what happens if we install all of those without. Yeah, let's do it. So, restart. Let's see what happens. So, like I said, we have to go back in there to theme or thing, and the themes are gone. So, themes, what was it again? Preferences, theming, th 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 themes, here it is. So, themes, let's set everything. Correct, let's go for something else. Casablanca Dark. There is a Casablanca. There is a Casablanca somewhere here. Sadi or Colora, Casablanca. Sadi Monopapyrus, Casablanca. All right, Casablanca. Dark one. Free snow. Arc dark. Casablanca. So that's what we've changed again. Sure, update, settings. I feel my fonts are smaller again, is that correct? Yup. Don't know if it's still correct. Do feel this is too small, better. So we have now this kind of look. Our wallpaper really sucks, but we have variety. So next one, please. 
much better. So we have now all the pixelations in gray. So the side icons are okay. Where can you check this as well? You can check that in the Nemo. And in Nemo you have file system. You open it up. You have user, share, and then applications. All your applications are in here. And that's not the application, but that's the shortcut. So that's the thing that's going to launch your application. And the fun stuff is you can edit it. Not with these kind of things, but I rather use it with sublime text. And then you can uh, change these things in here and say, no, don't want that kind of icon. I want an other icon, not a la carte, but something else. So that's what we can do as icon builders. All right. So back to the task at hand. We want to install all of this. Um, sound. We need to test the sound. Can we have YouTube? Can we look at YouTube? Give me something. Holy grail. Now let's take music. Did a peek at music, music live, whatever, popular music. Ah, something. Can we listen to it on VirtualBox? Okay. I'm hearing something on my headphones. So that's working. Remember, I did not install anything. Okay, mute it, check. I did not install this uh, option there in the script. We'll need to test it more on SSD. But I think that's working just fine without the line that was in script uh, 110, I think it was. So that's okay. <sighs> Close tabs. So this one, we did something in here. We said we don't want to have the power control thing. I'm going to check anyway with the, the keyboard shortcuts later if they all work, if we need anything. That's this one. Uh, so we'll check. Then this one, the personal one. Install personal folders version one. Yeah, we can run that one. Let's take a look. All it does is check if we have a hidden folder dot icons. Do we have a hidden folder dot icons? Yes, we do have already one because I made um, a script to tell them to make to tell them to take breeze snow. So this thing I'm waving with. That's a breeze snow. So that's okay. Let's do here right mouse click number hundred. That's done. Number 120 is going to add a lot of stuff in here. Let's see. Yep, that works. So downloads, documents, music, pictures, videos. It's in here. You can move it also up here, I think. Yep. So if you say, oh, I'm going to move it, those guys up there. Those are the normal guys. Just a matter of moving them up. See that you have a line in between it, like so. And then if the normal folders up here and your folders down there, it's all what you want. Alice. 200 Firefox has been launched. Yes, we have launched it, so we can run 200 as well. Check. 210 is for GIMP. It's installed. And installing the Linux, the LTS kernel is not going to be an option here and zsh is if you want it so i'm gonna skip those so that's what we've done we've created now a github we are ready this is here our package manager he'll tell us if we want to update and we have here right mouse click we can configure 
use a custom icon theme and tell them that this is actually Linux Mint Cinnamon uh, 18.3. Now, wh what am I saying? What am I saying? <laughs> this is Arch Merch. It does feel like Linux Mint <laughs> actually because I did it seven hours ago. So <laughs> Arch Merch. Uh, cinnamon. That's what we created. Arch Merch Cinnamon. If you want another icon, we have other icons. Let's make a beautiful icon of icons. Sardi icons in scalable. There is a. Ooh, la, 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 la. It's been a while. Places? Yeah, places good, Eric. So we have this as icon. Well, how do you think about that one? That one, that one, that one, that one, that one, that one. Uh, anything goes. These are all icons for your start menu. If you want to have here this, start here, here they start. And all these can be used to have a icon there. Star Trek icon. Okay. There is also an uh, Arch Merch somewhere. Somewhere is in here. And then, oh la la, that's something more difficult. Does it start with a D? Yeah, it starts with a D. So distributor logo, if you want to have our own logo, it's in here somewhere. That's one of ours. And we say, let's use that one. And then we have this logo down here. Choose whatever logo you want. So there you go. We have now our uh, system, all variety is working. What's not working in variety is the shortcut. So we don't have all T. Alt T, Alt F, Alt N, Alt Arrow, Alt Arrow left, and right, up and down. So that's not working. So the shortcuts have not been transferred, but you can just go for next here or go for wallpaper selector and see what it already downloaded. See what you like, see what you don't like. Uh, oh, what's this one? Okay, the Pokemon guys. A little nice car. Gaming. So these are not part of Arch Merch. These are coming from Variety and Variety is getting from desktopper.co slash Eric Dubois. There are about 600 wallpapers of mine on there. That's a nice one as well. Sorry, that one. Let's keep that one close. So there you go. We have now uh, Arch Merch Cinnamon. We've uh, created here some things. We have to check a lot of things before it's going to be public to everybody else. But um, it does feel good, it does feel great. I'm gonna check now the Linux Mint 18.3 Cinnamon. What do they have, what do we have, compare and see what else we can add or tweak. Alright, this concludes this video.